Right, I so using the filler gauges, I think it was about 19 thousand of an inch just to get underneath that front plastic cover there. Just slowly clipping it away from the top as I bring it down and eventually get across the whole side and remove it. I find filler gauges are perfect for jobs like this because you can get different thicknesses for whatever job you're doing. So not too difficult. Seeing if I can flip those little latches back with my finger there, which I couldn't, it's just holding down the ribbons. So again, using the filler gauges just to flip those little latches up. And uh, this one was a little bit stubborn, so I had to work it across all the way to get that little latch there up. Whereas on the other side, it came up quite easily. Just trying to be gentle with it too. So you see me having a couple of gaze, that's because I don't want to push too much pressure. Just like that. Now getting the screen off, yeah, heat around the edges. It really doesn't matter how much heat you apply. There's no circuitry on the other side of that screen that you're going to damage. If you're worried about the laptop part of it being underneath that screen, you can always flatten it right out so you're only heating up the screen. You're not... You know, you don't have to worry about applying any heat to the laptop underneath. I, just, I go by touch. I can feel it that if the screen's too hot to touch, I know I've gone too much. If the screen, I can hold my hand there for about two or three seconds, then it's that's about the heat I want that I can remove the screen with. When it comes, you know, just a touch, like you can't keep your finger there for more than, say, two or three seconds, then you know that's hot enough and you can start getting underneath corners. Okay, I couldn't get the card underneath it, so again with the filler gauges, just using a slightly thinner, probably about 10th hour, just to get underneath the corner there, and then I could slide the card in and work my way around. As I come over here, you can see the screen's getting a bit harder to push. The glue's starting to go cold and hard again. So at this point here, I realise that I've got to apply more heat. So once I was happy with the heat that I applied there, I just worked my way around again, use the filler gauges again to just creep underneath the corner. Make sure you don't go in too far so you can see how I'm just holding it probably about five mil from my fingers out, just to slide underneath there, but I've got control of how far I push that in. Once that's done, just a matter of lifting the screen up. corner got a bit stuck there so you might need to apply a bit more heat like I did anywhere where the glue doesn't want to let go just apply the heat that you need that's just a bit of a hazy that's come off got to clean all that up in a second I'm being really careful but like this is my first time doing this so I didn't know what was on the other side at the time didn't want to damage anything it wasn't until i had the screen lifted up is when i realized oh, okay there's nothing on the other side i could have damaged so i could have gone a little bit more heat and done it quicker so you can see behind there there's nothing really to worry about so you've got one more ribbon on this side But there's a bit of heat adhesive there that I'm trying to pick up with the blade there just to get a start on it. And then I can lift the adhesive up and then I can unclip the little metal clip there and undo that ribbon. I didn't want to come up so I just applied a little bit of heat just to soften it up a bit. So just take your time with it like I am there. You don't want to force anything to happen. Once that adhesive came up, they don't clip easily. So just using my super cheap multi-tool there to pick the little bar up for that clip.
Once that's up, she comes apart easily. I'm just being real careful there, just double checking that I'm not going to go doing anything silly. That's why I went really slow at that point. But that she comes apart, screens off. So you can throw that part away. So just have, having a good look at it there. Now to put the other screen on, I've got to go over it, remove all the double-sided adhesive that's still on there. So I'll speed this part up as well. Okay, so the new screen, I'm getting the ad adhesive put onto one side. Not taking off the plastic strips from both sides of the adhesive, just the one side so I can stick it to the screen first. Make sure that it all fits right. If you remove the both sides of that tape from the adhesive, then your fingers are going to be sticking to it while you're trying to put it down. So again, I just speed this part up while I stick all that down. So there's a little bit of overhang on the double-sided tape, so just using the blade to slice off any excess so it's all nice and flush. Once I'm happy with all the adhesive being put back on, pretty much replacing whatever I took off in the same areas, the same style, uh, say it all goes back on the same way. So all the adhesive part is done. I'm just going to date the screen. Just something I like to do. There's no need for it. I just, if I have to pull the screen off again and replace it, I'll look back and go, oh, that's when I did that. That's just, you know. Looking at that date, though, you, you can see when I recorded this video to when I'm actually editing and posting this it's a good distance between that's um eight months okay so i'm just having a good look there to see how all the ribbons go back on and i don't know why for whatever reason but i made a mistake here so learn by this don't make the same mistake i did just trying to get the side off the adhesive that's just a little bit i forgot to do while i was taking the other tape off the adhesive there's a little bit there that was left over Okay, so this is important right here. 
So all three ribbons get put in at the same time at this point here. If you do what I did and connect that one ribbon on this side and then choose to do the other two ribbons from the other side, it's all going to, well, it's not all going to go wrong. In the end, I was successful, but it didn't make the job that little bit harder and a little bit of extra work that I didn't need to do. So you'll see me do that in a minute. You just slide that in. Once that slid in, then you flip the little clip over the top that holds it in place. And then stick that adhesive part of the sticker back down over the top of it. Just using the card there to make sure that the clip's down as far as it can go. So you can see how I'm putting both the laptop and the screen on the styrofoam. I'm just keeping them both at the same level as to each other. Table's a little bit too slippery to work on, so that's why I was using the styrofoam. Could probably put a tablecloth over it, you know, stop it from sliding a bit. Right, I say, <clears throat> you can see how I'm putting the screen back down, but I haven't put those ribbons in. I'd forgotten to do that. And I push the screen down, got it all in place, and then realized, oh, I don't have the ribbons in place. Those last two. Right there, that's when I realised that I can't get the ribbons back in. And that didn't really work out, so I'll just fast forward to the part where I heat it. Okay, so being super careful here, so I'm not, I know that I've got, I'm using my knife there, but I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm just trying to get under the corner a little bit, like that. Then I can heat it up, lift that part of the screen up just high enough to put those put the ribbons in place. So if you make the same mistake as me, you don't have to remove the whole screen again. Just lift that front part up, but be, su be super careful. You don't want to put a crack in a new screen. You can see how it's come up there, and I'm just giving a couple of supports on the sides just to lift the screen up. Put those, put the ribbons in place and clip them in. Had a little bit of trouble getting them in, but I did get it, did get it there. It's just the angle of trying to get those ribbons in with the screen in place. Push the little slips down, turn the laptop on, just to make sure it's working before I put that cover on. And I'm happy with it, so I've removed the protect protective screen there. You can see my home screens, my lock screens come up. 
Touch screen's working. While I'm waiting for that to boot, just put that little cover back on. Same way you took it off, put the bottom in, area in and then clip it into this top part of the screen. It clips back in quite easily. And there you go, laptop started. I'm happy with it. And everything's working. You can see the keyboard's got sticky tape on the keys there. Uh, my son thought that it would be a good idea to remove the keys. The keyboard's too expensive to replace, so I just used a bit of clear tape to hold those keys back in place because the little metal parts on the bottom or whatever it is that holds them in place is missing. They won't stay there, so I just thought, you know, clear tape holds them in place, job's done. Just gave it a bit of pressure from the back just to make sure everything's stuck in place. And just put a screen like that to give you a better look. Clean it up a little bit and turn it back on. And job's done. Everything's working. I'm happy. So just a quick touchscreen test there, everything's happening. Just open up my diagnostics tool as a sample. And uh, obviously it's not going to load properly because I don't have my scan tool turned on. And everything's working out quite quite well. And that was like eight months ago and I'm still using a laptop, so everything was good. Anyhow, that's how I did it. I made the mistake and that's why I thought this footage was worth putting up because if somebody else out there made this puts this together and makes the same mistake and they think, oh crap, how do I get past this? I need to know how to do this by making the mistake. There's a video out there with the mistake done that's showed you how to get around it. Right, eh? Well, I appreciate you being here to watch this and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.